All right, so right now we're going to do uh, a truss calculation, and we're going to basically use a um, we're going to look at a little bit of moments, but we're going to more going to look at how the forces are reacting to the actual system, to the actual truss. Um, so right here we have a truss. We have all the measurements on it: 24, 12, 8 feet. We have a force of C coming down at 600 pounds. We have a force of B going to the right at 500. We already have our pin over here and our roller over here, and they're represented by our two forces. So two forces here and one force here. And those are our reaction forces. As you can see, they're RAX, RAY, so in the X direction, in the Y direction, and they're A's because they're at point A. And we have RDX, or I'm sorry, RDY over here because it is only in the Y direction. And we're going to look at how these things get affected and we're going to ask a question up here. So let me just hide this. So our question is if RDY is 637.5 pounds, so it's a positive 637.5 pounds, then the reaction, then what should the reaction force at, at point A, what should they be? So what is, should RAX and RAY be? Um, we're going to look at how these things get affected. We're going to look at how we can figure this out. All right. So what we're going to do first here is we're going to do a quick move. We're going to scale it down just so we can no, we're gonna put it over here so we can see it. There we go. Okay. Great. So now we're going to look at what and how we can figure this out. Well, we all can agree that this truss is not moving. Right now it's not moving. It's in static equilibrium. Static equilibrium means that all forces, all external forces acting on it are equal to zero. So it's not moving up. It's not moving down. It's not moving left or right. Um, so we're going to look at how we can figure this out. Because if we know that the up and down forces are zero, well, we're going to look at what are all the forces that are acting on this. Okay. So all the external forces have to equal zero. And our forces are, we have a negative 600 pounds for FC. So we have a negative FC going down. Now represented going down by a negative. We have a positive RD. Y All right. And we think our AY is also going to be going up. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's just plug in. These are all the forces that are going along up and down the Y axis. So we have Y we have up and down of FC, and we have an up and down of RDY. So let's plug in what we have, and let's see what we can do. Zero equals our FC is 600 pounds, and it's a negative because it's going down. 600. Okay. We have a positive RDY. And they tell us that RDY is 637.5 pounds. And we think we're looking for our AY. But we don't know if it's going up or down. We're just going to put it that it's going up. Just going to write it as a variable RAY. Okay. So then we can just basically hammer out this equation, and we'll see what we get. So we have a negative 600 and a positive 637. So you do simple math right there, and you have a positive 37.5 pounds that's left. And we still have the positive RA. Why? To get RAY -E -E by itself, we subtract, subtract 
37.5 to both sides and we get a negative 37.5 pounds equals R A Y so negative 37.5 pounds it's telling us that RAY is actually not going up it's actually going down RAY is actually going down so RAY I'm just gonna write that right over here RAY equals negative 37.5 pounds all right so we found RAY we have RAY all done right here. What we need to do is we need to find RAX now. We need to find RAX. So let's go through and find RAX. Exact same way. All external forces need to be equal to zero. So the only forces in the X direction is RAX and force FB. So we're just going to do a quick. So we get zero equals. We have a positive FB because we know that's going to the right. Okay. Positive FB. And right now we have RAX. And just to show you how it works, we're going to say that it's going to the right. RA. So we plug in our stuff. Zero equals FB is a positive 500. And we have a positive RAX is what we think. Okay. Uh, you do a simple, quick minus 500 right here. Minus 500 on both sides, and you get negative 500 pounds equals R A Y. All right, so really, again, R A, I'm sorry, X, it should be an X. X should actually be a negative 500 pounds and the negative is telling us that it's actually going to the left not to the right and this negative 37.5 is telling us it's actually going down not up it's going down not up Negative is going down, positive is going up, negative to the left, positive to the right. And that's basically it. Uh, if you need to turn around, go back, check to see, feel free, and I hope that helped.